throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be. Of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. In Chinese astrology, the zodiac is a repeating 12-year cycle represented by 12 animals. Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. But this is no random selection of animals thrown into a random order. Long ago, the Jade Emperor decreed that the years of the calendar would be named for each of the creatures who competed in a great race in the order of their completion. When the day of the great race came, the competitors ran, galloped, slithered, and flew as quickly as their bodies would allow them, determined to have the honor of being the first of the cycle. The racer with the most against them was the rat, smaller and of lesser stamina than the other creatures. But while far from the fastest, strongest, or most powerful of the gathered animals, the rat possessed great intelligence and an indomitable will. The final obstacle of the race was a wide river, deep with a fast-moving current. The ox, the heaviest creature, and least likely to be swept away by the current of the water, stepped forth and began to swim. Before he swam too far out of reach, the rat asked the ox for a ride to the other side. Now the ox was a kindly giant, and more than a tad naive, but he gladly agreed to ferry the rat to the distant shore. Once the shore was in reach, the rat sprang from the ox's snout and scurried quickly over to the Jade Emperor. The rat became the first in the Zodiac, while the mildly annoyed ox came in second place. In due time, the other animals finished their race. In third place was the tiger, a powerful beast in his own right strong and fast, fueled by raw passion. But the river's powerful current kept the big cat from achieving first place. In fourth place came the rabbit, light and swift, and who crossed the mighty river by hopping from stone to stone and finishing on a floating log. In fifth place came the dragon, much to the shock of everyone, as it was clearly the most powerful of the gathered creatures. But the dragon explained that it had stopped by a village and brought rain for all the people, and therefore it was held back. And then on its way to the finish line, it saw the helpless rabbit clinging onto a log. So it did a good deed and gave a puff of breath to the poor creature so that it could land on the shore. The Jade Emperor was astonished by the dragon's good nature, and it was named as the fifth animal of the Zodiac. The horse came galloping along and was nearly guaranteed sixth place. That is until the snake, who was hidden on the horse's hoof, slithered out in front, startling the horse and securing sixth place, leaving the horse to settle for seventh place. After a while, the goat, monkey, and rooster came to the Jade Emperor. With combined efforts, they managed to arrive on the other side. The rooster secured a raft, and the monkey and the goat tugged and pulled, trying to get all of the weeds out of the way. The Jade Emperor was pleased with their teamwork, and decided to name the goat as the eighth animal, followed by the monkey, and then the rooster. 
In 11th place was the dog, who, although a strong runner and swimmer, decided to spend its time playing in the water. And in last place came the pig, a slow and gluttonous animal by nature, that had decided to stop and eat in the middle of the race. And so the race had been run, and the order of the zodiac had been decided. The cycle would begin with the rat, clever and ambitious, followed by the ox, the tiger, the rabbit, the dragon, the snake, the horse, the goat, the monkey, the rooster, the dog, and end with the pig. And that cycle continues on to this very day.